idea is SMS uh, categorization, as I mentioned in, uh, uh, earlier, uh, the, uh, the way Gmail provides. So uh, we wanted to give a very basic uh, you know, interface to start with, <coughs> where the user will be able to log in or sign up. And then uh, we focused on, basically we thought like we'll just focus on two categories. Uh, two categories, uh, one is known one is and the other is unknown. So known is basically uh, the phone numbers uh, which are already there in the phone book and unknown is like any other guy. <coughs> so based on, based on these two categories, we just like segregated the SMS. So after this user logs in, so we have known, unknown. So we actually thought that uh, we only built uh, two categorization, but uh, uh, we were able to add two more categories as well uh, for promotional and transaction. So we come to promotional and transaction later, <coughs> uh, but uh, we we'll first like to demo uh, the, the two parts, so known and unknown. So once you click on that known category, so all the SMSs which we filtered to that known box uh, will display. These are the SMSs from the guys, uh, like you know, uh, where we have uh, uh, like uh, the numbers are stored in the phone book. We don't need that. So maybe we can try one uh, uh, sending one SMS from known numbers. Let's hold on. So she has sent, sent one SMS, so we will refresh and we will see. <coughs> and the message she sent is? Hi, Purusha. Right? So, hi, Purusha, good morning. And this came from this phone uh, number. Okay? So, that is one part. Now, like, if anyone want to test the unknown part, because like nobody is <laughs> added to the phone book, so can, can, like, can do that. Anybody want to do that? Just click on and <coughs> Yeah, click on and Okay, that's me. <coughs> so, uh, which, which number? 9579. 81. 79. 81. 1985. <laughs> so that message I don't have power. Come here. Huh? That I don't have power. Oh, okay. So I, I can do that maybe. Sixth time, so sixth message actually. <laughs> so let's see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I, I'm like, my number is not added to this phone book. So that's that's what, right? So, so our basic categorization uh, of SMS that worked out. Now uh, we were able to finish this as per our UI, uh, you know, thought, <coughs> and then we uh, added two more categorization called promotional and transaction. Uh, we are from the uh, SMS background, our company works in SMS background, so we know all the details of promotional and transaction SMS. In India, uh, uh, try out some rules that is uh, for the promotional SMS, uh, they can uh, be delivered on 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So, uh, promotional SMS includes offers, festival offers, or uh, advertisement SMS. So, we will never get uh, any promotional SMS after 9, uh, 9 p.m. So this is the government and uh, try 
transaction receivers includes the SMSs that comes from the bank. Suppose you withdraw the money from the ATM, then you will immediately get the uh, SMS. So uh, we have, uh, there are some uh, guidelines uh, you know, on sender ID. So what sender ID is uh, numbers. Suppose LM65017 is a uh, sender ID we can consider as. The government has some rules. First two characters uh, are the area specific. After the hyper, uh, if there is a number that is uh, called as a promotional SMS and what the transactional SMS is, uh, you will uh, receive the message as a uh, LM, SDFC, BK. So that is the transactional. If uh, after hyper there is a uh, uh, alphabetic characters, that SMS is considered as a transactional SMS. For transactional SMS, all the company need to be registered, so they need to approve the center ID from the uh, government authorities. So this all uh, processing will be there. So right now we cannot test the transactional uh, promotional SMS because uh, we have to wait for the time. Uh, but we can uh, for testing transactional SMS we need to do any transaction from the bank or anything we need to pay. So we have already uh, so in uh, promotional SMS talk like this type type of advertisement or offers SMS consider. So, of course, uh, making entry in a transaction, we need to uh, do some transaction. So, online transaction, maybe, or, or anything, we take a withdrawal. We so, have that's it. Added so, we have added filtration. Message. Okay. Message for unknown number. Yes, we have sent one message. So how do you categorize the message as a transactional SMS? Transactional SMS. If uh, after hyphen there is alphanumeric characters, alpha, alphabetic characters, that means the transactional SMS. For the bank SMS, you will find that uh, the uh, sender ID, LM, SBFC bank, <coughs> portal. So this type of SMS is considered as a transactional SMS. Okay, and if after the hyphen uh, there is a uh, numeric characters, that we consider as a promotional SMS. So on that basis, or according to that guidelines, we have uh, categorized the promotional and transaction. For the quarter bank, uh, they have approved center ID, uh, AO, AQ. So it's six length. Length is also fixed. For example, if uh, sender is using a five digit code, short code, five one five five five, which category it will fall into? Five one. Five. 5155. It's a question. It will come to unknown. As of now, it will come to unknown. Okay. So, idea was like basic to test the categorization on a very basic level. And then now we can add on many things like friends, family, and colleagues, and whatever. In later stage, we can add it. In our phone book, we have a group like a family. We can create a group of hobbies. And on that basis, we can also add the custom. So, uh, right now, uh, how is this application? Once I log in, this application sends all my SMS to a server from categorization is done in the server side or some sends on the client side? Uh, it's on the client side. Uh, basically, uh, it's work like that uh, uh, when somebody sends you SMS. So, there is a service running on the uh, your uh, mobile phone. And uh, when the SMS, when you receive the SMS, uh, it just passes the SMS text, uh, uh, put some logic like whether in which category this is message and put it on the server. So whenever next time uh, it's fetched from the server directly. Uh, even if you change your device, uh, you can get the same message on other devices also. So that means like, can I opt out for a particular SMS not to be stored in the server because like I will have some private messages which I don't want to be categorized and... 